Hey everybody, today's recipe, we are making lamb stew in the Instant Pot, all right? That means our dinner will be cooked in about 30, 35 minutes. Now, let's say you don't have an Instant Pot pressure cooker. Well, you can cook it on the stove in a stock pot if, you, if that's what you have, and that will cook for about two and a half hours so that uh, lamb can get nice and tender. Now, another option is you could also use a slow cooker. Put it in in the morning, put all the ingredients together, let it cook for six to eight hours, and when you get home at night, you've got dinner ready. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. All right, let's go over our ingredients. First up is our lamb. I, I went to the butcher shop and picked up some lamb stew meat already cut up for me, makes it convenient, but I did have to cut the pieces a little bit smaller because some of them were in really good sized chunks. We'll need some chicken broth. I have a finely diced yellow onion here. Some tomatoes, which are out of the garden, fresh. They are so nice and sweet, and if you have them, you wanna use them. We're gonna use a little bit of red wine, some tomato paste, fresh garlic, I've minced that. We'll need for spices a couple of bay leaves. And in this container over here, I have a combination of ground coriander, there's some paprika, and some ground thyme. We'll need a little bit of salt. And here's an optional item. I put in date paste. I love date paste, as you know, and just a little bit to, to kind of just sweeten it ever so lightly. You'll notice it just very gently. And we'll need some olive oil. We've also got some potatoes. I'm using some gold potatoes here that we're gonna cut up and put in the Instant Pot in the last five minutes, along with some carrots. So we're gonna start off our recipe by adding some olive oil to the pan. I butt my Instapot on saute for five minutes and we're going to toss in our onions. So when you're sauteing these, you want to stir them pretty frequently so they don't burn. All right, just keep tossing them. All right, it's been five minutes. Now we're going to add the lamb. Now we're going to saute that for five minutes. We just kind of want to brown it up a little bit. All right, here's the lamb after five minutes of sauteing. Now we're gonna add everything except for the potatoes and carrots because they only take five minutes to cook. So here's our garlic. Those fresh tomatoes out of the garden. Red wine. Tomato paste. Here's the date paste. A couple of bay leaves. Here's the coriander and the thyme and the paprika, the salt, and the chicken broth. Give that a nice stir. And it's time to pressure cook it. Now we're gonna pressure cook this on high for about 20 minutes and we'll check it. I haven't forgotten our chef joke, so here we go. What do you call a Tom Cruise movie about cooking? A few good menus. 20 minutes have passed, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, release the pressure in here. See the sauce here looks delicious. Now we're going to dump in the potatoes and the carrots and cook them. Just like I said, five minutes is all it's going to take. And there's a stir. All right, our lamb stew is done. Man, that lamb is so tender, you can't believe it, and delicious, the sauce is great. I've got another recipe for you that will complement our lamb stew today. 
you gotta try it with this. It's my garlic bread recipe. I'll leave a link for you right here. Click that, it'll take you to it. And you can try it out. It's a very popular recipe and very delicious. Thank you so much for watching today. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to share the recipes. That way more people can get exposed to my delicious and nutritious and make you ambitious recipes. And uh, leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. Let me know what, you, what you're thinking and maybe, maybe even a recipe request. All right, we'll see you next week. Take care.